What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today and this is going to be some more speculation of course as it pertains to someone over on Reddit poem underscore four underscore the underscore dead. This is someone who put out a post. I saw some people kind of sharing it on Twitter so I wanted to share my thoughts on it. They had put up a post stating that these were going to be some of the locations that were going to be used in Scream 6 and all of these locations look like they are from McGill University um, and some of them seem to have a lot of potential if it indeed is going to be where they use for certain scenes in the movie uh, this person did try to back themselves up for being credible by stating that this is this is something that they know because they have 25 years of experience in the entertainment industry they also were someone who chimed in underneath that letterbox post saying that it is a hundred percent fake they're not trying to say that none of these people are going to be in it but that this is this is fake for the most part uh, so some of these images you see coming across your screen here again apparently are of McGill University many of us already think that this movie is going to be shot at McGill University and is going to be at a college setting is going to have a lot of Scream 2 vibes because of the fact that the filming location office for the production seems to be across from McGill University. McGill University is already known for having had a lot of major motion pictures shot on its campus so that's what gives us all the indication that this is going to be filming at this college this summer and again a lot of these images you've seen on your screen are screenshots that they shared from google maps of mcgill university one the one that stood out to me the most was the field only because i see a lot of potential in a ghost face chase sequence in a open field like that especially with the surrounding trees and then of course a major city in the background which may speak more to them actually setting the movie in new york potentially and having gail weathers be easily connected or able to get involved very easily if they are in college in new york gail weathers of course lives in new york and she, of course, would have an interest in coming right on over to whatever college that they're at if there is another Ghostface killer that's out there giving her a chance to propel her name even further, go on about how she was the writer of the original Woodsboro Murders. She's already someone who has an established credibility when it comes to these things, given that and the, and the franchise that exists because of her writing. So obviously, Gail, this would be an easy and an easy way to get a legacy cast member involved without having to have someone fly out, go to an area where there, there are characters that they really don't have no business being interested in. It's just an easy out. And it's a clever, honestly, brilliant way to just have Gail get involved very easily if you set this movie in New York and have all the survivors from Screen 5 going to college in New York. Uh, I do know some people were already looking at the images saying that it was screaming Scream 2 to them. They like the Scream 2 vibes. Some people did state that maybe they shouldn't do this in the sense that maybe they shouldn't do a college setting again. Honestly, I think you would be taking this. I think you would be more open to this than having a setting in Woodsboro once again. That's not to say that Woodsboro won't be shown in the film because I would love for them to actually show us Woodsboro at one point, but it's not taking place primarily in Woodsboro. You could have us see another sequence of Modesto even, but again, the movie just wouldn't be taking place primarily in Modesto or Woodsboro. It would be taking place primarily in New York. If Kirby is in the movie, how does Kirby become involved in this? I don't know. I mean, maybe you could just go out of your way and say Kirby is in New York too at that point. Point. but then again you know obviously the minor critiques would be that everyone was coincidentally located in the same area in order for this narrative to occur so i think with kirby at least somebody who's not connected to those surviving cast members the immediate cast members like chad mindy sam and tara they like a somebody like a kirby they should be living somewhere else they shouldn't be living in new york and then of course gail's in new york and then let's say sydney's in new york like come on now they they're not all living in new york <laughs> i just think that that's something to they could shake up a bit have kirby maybe fly out to new york once she sees that if kirby is indeed somehow the opening and survives kirby could fly out to new york once she sees that gail is involved in a ghost face killing spree because of the reports on the news and seeing that this might have something to do with her since she got attacked at her house early on in the film you could just do something else like that i know some people have already stated that you could do something where kirby has a more legitimate reason for being there maybe she's a film professor now I think honestly the more realistic thing given what Kirby's been through is for her to be in more of a Sydney Prescott Scream 3 type of scenario where she's shut off 
Uh, she's not that open. She still probably loves horror movies, but she's kind of disowned the Stab franchise. But I know people would love to see a scene between her and Mindy in a philosophical setting, I guess you could say. But they could still have a scene filled with dialogue reminiscent of the Scream 2 classroom scene uh where they're just spewing off at the mouth with all these knowledge they have all the knowledge they have about horror movies horror sequels the stab franchise and the woodsboro murders and so many other things they could just have a witty conversation about i, I would imagine between jasmine's character and hayden's character when kirby and mindy finally meet if it happens but that person shared those images over on reddit i'll leave a link to it in the description again they're claiming to have 25 years of experience in the industry i'm not saying that this indeed is where the movie will have some of its scenes shot at they are so if it ends up being true then it's just true uh they're also not going to be someone from reading the comments someone who's willing to provide you any proof because they're not they're not into all of that <laughs> they don't care if you take them seriously or not they are more interested in just relaying what they can and then stating to you that if you don't believe it you don't have to but also it doesn't mean that you can't also speculate on it because if it is indeed true some of these locations seem to have a lot of potential for some very interesting chase sequences to occur at uh especially that open field that open field is just the one i'm thinking of primarily something set at the set in the nighttime in specific specific with that location i would love to see something like that ghostface stalking somebody it's at night it's in that open field maybe there's multiple ghost faces involved in this chase sequence as well maybe that'll be the very first time in the movie you have at least confirmed to you early on yes there are multiple ghost faces but then the twist in the end could be there's three or there's four but then again maybe some of you might think that's too much and you would prefer they just stick to two or one um, I know I've also not stated this recently, but I do think they could pull off one Ghostface killer as long as you don't shoot it in a way that points to there being more than one. Don't make it seem like there's more than one with the way you have the person moving very fast, like how Roman was. But I think that was mostly due to the fact that they changed while they were filming and decided not to have Angelina be his partner. But that's really neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys think about some of these potential scouting locations for where scenes could be shot regarding Scream 6 down in the comment section below. Do you like it? Are you happy about the college setting potentially being an actual thing? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.